Hello everyone, R. Jerome Harris from DVD Copy Blog. This video is a short demonstration of a DVD movie software application called One Click DVD Copy 5 by LG Software Innovations. This program allows you to copy a DVD to a DVD or you can copy a DVD to your hard drive. It can make an exact copy of a DVD movie. I'm talking about a one-to-one -one bit by bit block by block exact copy so let me show you how to use the application once you install the uh, application this is the interface it's very simple uh, this is probably one of the most simplest uh, applications I've seen to date because you simply insert an original DVD and then click the start button unless you want to do some additional stuff then you have this orange options button if you click on that you get another window and it's also very simple it allows you to select the particular audio language that you want the copied DVD to be encoded on. You have your source DVD drive and you have your destination DVD drive. You also have a working folder. Now here I highly recommend that you set a working folder. Uh, this would have to be on a hard drive that has uh, oh in my opinion 20 to 30 gigabytes of uh, free space on it. I'm going to navigate to my G drive because I know there I have plenty of hard drive space so I have a folder already set up called movies or converted movies or converted videos right there and that's my working folder. Now at this point you have the option of uh, copying from the original DVD all the extras or episodes on that DVD. The director commentary so if you check that box, you'll get all that. If the original DVD has more than one language on it, you can check this box and have all the languages on the original DVD copied on to the copied DVD. I recommend uh, that you uncheck what you don't want because the more you check here, uh, the more real estate on the blank DVD will be uh, used. So uh, in this case, I don't want all the extra stuff on the original DVD. I don't want all the languages. I just want the English language. Uh, the DTS audio, it's okay. I don't want the movie menus. And I will be using a dual layered DVD 9 blank disc. If you will be using the single layered DVD 5 blank disc, then you will uncheck that. In my case, I'll leave that checked. Then click uh, save. Your next step is to go ahead and insert your original DVD movie into your DVD uh, writer or burner. And one click DVD copy goes through the process of scanning that DVD data. And you see that here in a moment. There it is. All right. So once it's done that, then this start button will go green. Then it says here, click start for an exact copy. So click the start button and one click DVD copy goes through what's called a transcoding process. Transcoding a DVD simply means that the DVD data from the original DVD is extracted and placed into that uh, temporary folder, that working folder you created. And from there, one click DVD copy five will prepare that DVD data so that it can be burned down to a blank DVD. You cannot uh, copy and paste data from a DVD, an original DVD movie and copy it to a blank DVD. It doesn't work that way. It has to be transcoded. In other words, prepared so that it can be burned or etched on to a blank DVD. So that's what's going on right now. So how fast is this program? Well, it depends on several factors. It's going to depend upon the um, power of your PC. First of all, if you have a very fast PC, I would say less than 30 minutes. I've actually burned a, or copied a DVD in less than 20 minutes with this application. And I have a well, not a very fast computer, but it's not a slow computer either. So uh, right down here, you're looking at uh, the percentage here. This right here, this number here, coincides with what you see here, this progress bar. 
So once this gets to 100%, this here will go all the way over to the right. So rather than have you sit here and watch the video, go through the process of transcoding and running the DVD, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and uh, come back into it at the point where we're almost at 100%. All right, uh, one click DVD copy five has just extracted the data from the original DVD and has uh, transcoded it and now it's ready to uh, burn it onto a blank DVD. So what has just happened on my PC is that uh, the original DVD movie was ejected and I am being prompted now to insert a blank DVD and I am doing that now. Okay, and then I'll click the burn button. And now we're in the last phase of the burning process. You should be seeing activity on your uh, DVD writer, the uh, device that you installed the blank DVD in. It should be uh, flashing right now. And as you saw in the transcoding process, you will see activity or you'll see this progress bar progress from the lower left over to the right here. So right now you're being told writing or burning or copying the DVD. Twenty six minutes later, one click DVD copy five has completed copying the DVD. And what it will do, it will eject the copied DVD from your DVD writer. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK here. And let me go back into options. I want to show you something else before I conclude this video. I should mention also that uh, not only can one click DVD copy copy a DVD to a DVD disc, it can also rip the original DVD and copy it to your hard drive. And to do that, you would click on the options button there. And where it says destination, you pull this down and you'll see where it says select hard drive folder. Select that and navigate to a location on your PC where you want that uh, ripped DVD data off of that uh, original DVD movie to go. And that's, that's it. This is R. Jerome Harris from DVDCopyBlog.com. Thank you for viewing.